compassion, wisdom, inspiration, professional, honesty, education, famous with Lewis. Hello, I'm Lewis and you're watching Famous with Lewis, the informative uh, video show program where we interview celebrities and what they're um, famous for. So, who are you? My name is Peter Coombe. Peter Coombe, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming onto the show, Peter. My pleasure. And this is my dad, Len. He's hello, Len. There. Hello, Let's the hand um, uh, hello, Len. Hello, Mr. Coombe. Thank you. Hello, how are thank you? Thank you. And hello. this is my other son, Llewellyn. Llewellyn, please take out Just your take earplugs. Just take the earphones out, Llewellyn, take please. Take out Llewellyn, earplugs, Take your hand please. too. Earplugs. Hi. Hi. Llewellyn loves the computer yeah. music. Llewellyn's a clever boy, but he's a quiet boy. A quiet boy, okay. So, uh, Peter Coombe, how do you keep kids' attentions while performing? Um, I struggle sometimes with Llewellyn um, because I perform to him sometimes, and it's a bit of a struggle. What do you do? Well, I, first of all, I try and write really good songs. I try and write songs that kids can sing along with, and I like using very, very silly voices. Very silly voices? I, I'm, I'm a specialist in using very, very silly voices. A bit like that. Uh, I have a silly voice. Uh, it goes like this. Hello. Uh, what's the biggest audience you've ever performed to? About 100,000 people. And that would be, um, and that would be the Sydney, the Sydney Carols at the Domain. That's a lot more than what I usually do. I usually perform to uh, three to five people, ah. depending on their appointments. Well, do you want know, you know, you know to know a secret about performing to a lot of people? It's actually no more nerve-wracking performing to 100,000 people than it is performing to three or four. Strangely What enough. I do to not be nervous in front of people is I imagine that they're all cats. It makes it much oh, easier for me. That's an interesting idea. Yes, Ow. because I'm... Oh, that was pretty good too. Ow. Meow. Me oh, Meow. I can't do that with the eyes. Meow. You've won three arias, Mr. Three Peter arias, Coombs. yes. That's yes. pretty good. Yes. How do I win one? <laughs> you, well, first we have to make a CD. Have to make an album. Or okay. a cassette. So, so, I can so, do or a cassette. Or cassette. They, won't, they, won't listen to, they won't listen to cassettes anymore. They only, they only listen to CDs or downloads. Or downloads. Okay, we'll have to work on that, Dad. I'm sorry. Everything is getting very computer now, it is, I know. but I like the old days. This is and, um, and, you play, and you play the harmonica. harmonica. <coughs> um, this doesn't need a computer. It doesn't? Um, l I'll show you. So you like real instruments? Well, I feel the boys spend a lot of time on their computers watching Miley Siren, and, and um, they should, we should go back to the old days where we cooked damper around a campfire and the billy boiled. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree with that. I, I think it's not a bad idea. Without a computer. Have you ever performed any duets? With, that's with two people, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because um, I'm, I would like to sing a duet as well, but I don't have John Farnham's number. Ah, yes, yes, that's right. Well, I, I, have, I have done duets, yes. On my albums, I've done quite a few duets, with, usually with another female singer. The voice is very different to the man's voice. Well, it's called, it's, a, it's an octave higher. An octagon higher. So ladies speak up there, and men speak down there. Well, sometimes men speak there, but ladies speak up there. I think Llewellyn wow. is finding your voices very funny. Yes, he seems I, to be. Aren't you Llewellyn? He seems to be incredibly amused by it. He says. Lu you like his voices, don't you Llewellyn? Llewellyn? He made, and Mr. Coombe made them without any computers at all. That's right. No, no computer no, no voice. No cassette, no CD. Just his own voice box. And do and you like music too? He likes Possibly. to listen to his Walkman. And, and, and what kind of music do you like? I like <laughs> old, old blue face. Mm -hmm. Old blue face. Um, As opposed to old blue eyes. We have a lot of Frank's uh, cassettes at home and we play them for the b with the boys. Oh yes, and the, do the boys like them? They love them. <coughs> I love the Franks. Llewellyn, Llewellyn please, can take you please out take the earplugs. Thank you Llewellyn. Take out the earplugs please. This is an interview please. 
And we also have another special guest, surprise guest on the show today. Are you ready? It's Rummy the dog. And, and I, I like to do ventriloquism with the boys. That's another old fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. and, and, and here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. Yep. Hello, hello, Romy the dog. Hello. And, and now I have, a special, I have a special trick. I'm going to talk while Len plays the harmonica to show that it's not a trick. Good on you, Rummy the dog. So here we go. I'm Rummy the dog. Well done, Rummy the dog. That was a great song. Hello, Mr. Coombe. Hello, Rummy the dog. My name is Rummy the dog. And do you bark like ruff, ruff, or do you bark like woof, woof, like that? Um, I bark like a rough, Rough, rough. And rough, I rough, yeah. meow like meow, meow. Okay. Yeah. This here is Blueby the cat. Say hi to Blueby the cat. Hello, Blueby. Hi, Blueby the cat. Oh. Hi, Blueby the cat. Hello, Blueby the cat. Meow. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Blueby the cat. I'm Rummy the dog. Hello, Rummy the dog. I'm Blueby the cat. Do you like food? I love food. What's nice and sticky and very licky? Hmm, how about toffee apples? Oh. One, two, one, two, three. A toffee apple, nice and licky. A one for Judy, a one for Mickey. Crunchy, munchy, very sticky. Don't forget to clean your teeth. Toffee apple, nice and licky. One for Judy, a one for Mickey. Crunchy, munchy, very sticky. Don't forget to clean your teeth. Mummy have a bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Mummy have a bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Mummy have a bite. Munch, munch, munch. Chew it well. Mmm, very nice. Toffee apple, nice and licky. I want for Judy, I want for Mickey. Crunchy, munchy, very sticky. Don't forget to clean your teeth. Toffee apple, nice and licky. I want for Judy, I want for Mickey. Crunchy, munchy, very sticky. Don't forget to clean your teeth. Daddy have a bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Munch, Mommy have a bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Mickey have a munch. Munch, munch, munch. Dickie have a bite. Munch, munch, munch. Tommy have a taste. Well, and have a bite. Yum, yum. Connie have a taste. Yum, yum, yum. Chew it well. Mmm, very nice. Toffee apple, nice and licky. One for Judy, one for Mickey. Crunchy, munchy, very sticky. Don't forget to clean your teeth. Thank you, everyone. Excellent. Yes. Do you know what time it is? What time is it, uh, Clubal? Blueby. It's story time. And our story today is called The Good Son. Once upon a time, there lived a boy called Lewis, and he was an adventurer. Lewis had been everywhere. He had explored the wet ocean, the freezing Antarctica, and even the dinosaur jungle. Dinosaur Lewis. But one place Lewis hadn't explored was the sun. Where's the sun? So the next day, Lewis decided he would go to the sun. Lewis was so excited about his new adventure, he changed into his astronaut costume and hopped into his rocket. Rocket, please, Dad. Rocket, Quickly. rocket, here's the rocket. On his Lewis. trip to the sun, Lewis saw many stars and planets. Stars, don't know where the star, stars. But there was a big problem. Lewis's rocket was close to running out of petrol. petrol. Petrol is too expensive nowadays. Lewis didn't know what to do. How was he going to get to the sun? So he decided he would go to the moon to ask for some help. Lewis was pretty excited to meet the moon. 
The moon seemed nice and promised to help Lewis the next day. It was the next day. But there was another big problem. The moon was nowhere to be seen. The moon had broken his promise. Lewis looked around space and behind the stars to see if he could find the moon. Finally, Lewis found the moon. He was busy listening to music on his Walkman. This annoyed Lewis very much because you should never promise to do something and then break your promise. Isn't that right, Dad? It's a lovely, lovely story, Lewis. So the moon actually listened to Lewis and did what Lewis told him to do and didn't get distracted by... Um, where's he gone? Llewellyn? Bye. Llewellyn? Um, bye. Oh, just, just turn the page, please. Turn the page. Next page. Next page. Ah! And Lewis finally made, made it to the sun. Yes. He was so happy on the sun. He reached his goal and they all lived happily ever after. The end. I have a, a present for you, booby. What is it? Here, here it is. Ooh. It's a magic trick, ladies and gentlemen. It's a magic trick, everybody. Okay. So Dad put that down and put this up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to disappear. We'll be performing a magic trick, ladies and gentlemen. So if my dad could cover me here, please, and I will disappear when my dad drops the um, magic sheet. Ready, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, is that right? Just hold it up, please, Dad. Ready, ladies and gentlemen, and... Now, Dad. Where did Lewis go? I don't know, Rummy. And now for me to magically reappear. Dad, put it up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter Coombe. Thank you for watching Famous with Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and I'd like to thank Peter Coombe for being part of the show too. Thank My you, Peter. My great pleasure. My great thank pleasure. Thank you so much. Have a good bye, everyone. Thank you, Peter Coombe. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, ev bye. everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Oh, like Apple. this. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Crunchy, crunchy. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just going Crunchy, gonna... munchy. <laughs> A sticky way, I guess. Bye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Did you like some? Mm. Hooray for Mr. Coombe. Oh, that's a good one. Australia's best entertain. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the show? Thank you. Make sure you join me next week with my new guest. Can you guess the guest? Whose eyes are these? Tune in next week to find out or visit my Twitter and Facebook page for more clues. Thank you for your time.